Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Z1 video. This week we want to talk about brake pads. Brake pads are one of the most commonly questioned items that we offer. Uh, we get calls weekly, daily. Uh, people always want to know what's the best brake pad for me. That's what they want to add in the kit that we're setting up. Um, so we figure we cover some of the details on the different spectrum of pads that we offer. Um, there are a lot of traits really that I think uh, we can break this down into, whether it's uh, a Brakes characteristic to dust, make noise, the wear rate, the brake torque, uh, operational temp range, even the range that they're limited to where the brakes fade off and go away. Um, it's probably one of the things that if you push your car hard that you're really familiar with, or if you have to clean the wheels all the time that you just got, maybe you're irritated about. So one of our most popular pads is the Centric Posi Quiet. It's usually the base option in most of our kits because it's uh, an affordable pad. Uh, a lot of people may think that it's um, the bottom rung for a negative reason, but the truth is it's a great pad for the street. Generally no noise, low dust, easy to clean, uh, good cold operation, and you can drive them a little sporty, but eventually you're going to have them fade out. Uh, Centric Posi Quiet is a very popular pad that we offer uh, for all these reasons. So for some, this is the best pad, the best street pad. Uh, if we wanted to go up the ladder from that performance-wise a little bit, we'll probably move uh, we're still within the Centric family up to something in their stop tech line, whether it's the street or sport products. These are not going to be a drastic friction change where the pedal feels like aggressive bike, but a little improvement and the temp threshold is going to be that uh, improved as well. Kind of equal steps up the ladder, we'd say, into the sport line. Up from that, we may step into something with a bit more range. Um, these are pads that still aren't very aggressive on the wear rates. Uh, their dust isn't insane. The chance you may get an occasional uh, bit of noise out of them comes up a little bit, but some people use these without any noise whatsoever. EVC yellow stuff, Hawk 5.0s, uh, even the Carbotech 1521s are all popular options in that range. Uh, the dust will be a little higher with the Carbotech, but so will the performance range and characteristic. Um, bite on these is still in the mid-range, so you are going to notice improvement in the friction, but uh, it's not going to be a full race pad nor would we recommend it for track day duty or anything, but maybe street driving with a little bit of that sporty use or you're carrying a heavier load, uh, these pads are going to support uh, that kind of abuse better. Coming up from that, maybe where we take a, our first big jump in the friction coefficient with a high initial bite is probably going to be the Hawk uh, HP Plus pad. That's a pad that you're going to put on. You're definitely going to expect to have noise and dust at higher rates, higher wear rates on the hard parts like rotors, but uh, the mild steps we've worked along really jump a few rungs uh, with the Hawk HP Plus. Um, performance is really good. I think if you're looking for a sporty drive through the mountains, uh, maybe get away with it in autocross, though they do better warm. Um, you'd really like the Hawk HP Plus. It's a pad that uh, doesn't disappoint too much. We wouldn't recommend it for full out track day use. Uh, still, it has a ceiling uh, similar, I think about 800 Fahrenheit, like most of these here. Uh, with uh, the, the last three, but uh, an excellent pad and a very strong bite. So now we're at the other end of the spectrum where we're looking at pads from uh, Carbotech in the XP line or Hawk maybe in the DTC line. These are more dedicated for purpose of track use, uh, depending on the weight of your vehicle. Something maybe uh, Hawk uh, DTC 60 or 70. A lot of people like that split in the balance, uh, 70s on the front, 60s on the rear. Or most popular here is Carbotech XP12 and XP10 combination. Uh, the balance generally on the car is very good with those for brake bias. Uh, bite is very good. Cold, the cars will still stop, um, but as they come up to temp, you'll notice very strong on the brakes with a bit more uh, stiction. A lot of our drivers here prefer that to be their favorite, and almost every car at Z1 at track days runs a Carbotech XP1210 combo. So you, you could say we're, we're all pretty happy with that. Um, but we generally don't run them on the street. Uh, most of our guys here will even swap back and forth you know, for events, even on the same rotor. If you guys have questions, concerns, want us to put something together for you, uh, if you don't see it on the site, give us a buzz. Happy to work with you. Uh, pretty much any of our staff can elaborate on these, try and find the right match for you. Um, but if you call and ask for the best brake pad, the pad that you can go to the track with and push to the limit, it's going to hold up on your sticky tires during the summer months, and you want to street drive it with no dust, no noise, don't be surprised if you get a laugh out of them, because they may not know that one. So. Thanks, guys, for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.